Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMummy.com and today I want to show you how to take a plain basket like this and distress it with paint so it looks like a French inspired antique basket just like this. One of my blogging friends just published a book. It actually went on sale yesterday and it's called French Vintage Decor. This is by Jamie of So Much Better With Age. She is a fellow Canadian blogger and she has such a beautiful vintage French country style. So if you love that style, you will love all of the DIY projects in this book. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase this book. It's already a bestseller on Amazon, so make sure to get your copy as soon as you can. Jamie asked me to share this book and she asked me to do one of the DIYs if I wanted to and I definitely did. So I chose to do a French basket inspired DIY and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get started. So I'm starting with this orangey colored wicker basket. I found it at Walmart a few years ago. It's just your typical orange wicker. And I'm using Jamie's vintage French basket tutorial from her book to make it into a beautiful vintage French inspired basket. So first I'm taking this espresso brown color of acrylic paint and painting the entire basket with a foam brush. So you could use acrylic paint. I've also painted baskets with latex paint. I'm just using what I have on hand. Next, you can take a stiffer, smaller brush just like this to kind of get into the cracks of your basket to make sure that all of it is covered in paint. If you miss some of the spots in your basket, that's fine. That just adds to the vintage charm of this look. I'm also painting the interior of my basket with this espresso brown color. Next, create a wash. So I'm taking that same espresso brown paint. I'm adding some cream into it. I'm mixing that all together. Jamie in her book suggested adding a beige to the brown, but this cream also works. And then I'm adding some water. So a one to one ratio of paint to water, and I'm creating this wash. So again, I'm using the foam brush. I'm taking that wash of paint and I'm just spreading it all over my basket back and forth. Then I'm taking this rag and I'm just blotting that out to create a really vintage distressed look. You could also use paper towel if you don't have a rag on hand. So just continue adding this wash and blotting it out all over the exterior and the interior of your basket. Finally, the final layer of paint, I'm mixing some of that cream colored acrylic paint with some blackish gray colored paint. And then I'm taking my brush, putting it in the paint and then blotting it on a paper towel. And I'm going to dry brush that very, very lightly onto my basket. So just make sure every layer of paint you do, the former layer is nice and dry before you do the next layer. Dry brushing, you just don't want hardly any paint on your brush. You want just a little bit on the tips. That's why I'm blotting it out with the paper towel. And then you're just going to go very, very lightly back and forth over your basket. This gives it that really nice kind of gray patina that makes it look like it's rain worn or weather worn and that really French vintage look. Finally, take some wax. I'm using Annie Sloan's soft wax. Uh, in Jamie's books, she suggests to use white wax. I don't have white wax, so I'm going to make my own. I'm taking my waxing brush, putting some of this clear wax onto an ice cream pail lid, and then I'm taking some leftover white latex paint that I had on hand, adding about a teaspoon of that to my white wax and mixing that together to create my own DIY white wax. And then you're going to take your white wax and just brush it all over your basket with a wax brush or with a rag. And then after that, take a rag and just buff that into your basket. So this protects your basket. The wax protects the paint underneath and also the little white bits add even more of a depth to the look of this vintage basket. So just apply the wax all over the basket, all over the exterior, all over the interior. And then after you're finished waxing it and buffing it and it dries, you are finished. So here's how my basket looked before. And here's how my basket looks now. I love that this is just an inexpensive basket I found at Walmart, but I've added paint I've had on hand to make it look like I found it 
at a French market in the countryside. It looks vintage and I can't wait to display it with all of my other items on my bookcase. If you want to see another DIY from Jamie's book, make sure to check out my friend Lisa's channel of Farmhouse on Boone. She created a beautiful concrete bowl from Jamie's book. I'll leave a link to her video in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this French vintage inspired basket. And let me also know if you're going to pick up a copy of Jamie's new beautiful book. Thanks Jamie for letting me review your book and also do one of the DIYs from it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. See you in my next video. Bye.